Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Donnelly with Barrier Free Contractors, and this is the Accessible Barrier Free Homes channel. And I combine it with the Accessing My Home podcast, a little two for one, which is nice because it gets the word out greater. We're speaking and collaborating with some of the best experts in the mobility world, advocating and promoting fantastic accessibility solutions for those with mobility challenges. And today we're speaking with Renee Shipton. She's the regional director at the Center for Independent Living Gulf Coast and a huge, huge advocate for helping people with dis disabilities. Now, Renee's an expert on a myriad of mobility challenges, and, and she's experienced firsthand within her own family the dr dramatic need to help. So, Renee, uh, thanks a bunch for doing this with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Mike, for the time and the opportunity to uh, share this great information with everyone. Good deal. I like it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about home accessibility, home modifications, ramps, things that you know so much about and can enlighten a lot of our listeners. Yes, Mike, absolutely. Well, here at the Center for Independent Living, uh, we believe that people should remain in their home as long as they wish to. And oftentimes, uh, there becomes an aging problem where a barrier has come in place due to aging or a new disability. So we like to work with individuals and families and households in increasing and improving the access in their home. We do that through our SHIP program, which um, is an eligibility-based program for individuals of low income who may be needing to do some home modifications, such as widening doorways, ramps, making accessible bathrooms, kitchens, um, et cetera. We also do that through helping uh, individuals who are perhaps just needing a ramp, and we call that program Ramping Up Life, where we are just uh, doing just ramps for individuals in the communities that we serve. And then we do everything in between as regards to accessibility, uh, looking even beyond the home and into the community and the things that uh, might need to be addressed there to help make it more uh, accessible to people with disabilities. Well, you know that I'm totally immersed in the contracting side of making a home barrier free and, and the independent living style that's so important to people that, you know, they just can't get through their homes. So, you know, whether it's, uh, talk a little bit about uh, maybe an accessible bathroom. Uh, what, what's your idea of, of what a person needs to be able to truly access that most critical of rooms? Yes, Mike, that's a great question. Um, so typically a ADA accessible bathroom incorporates a five foot radi uh, turning radius so that a wheelchair user can go into a restroom and turn around adequately to be able to then access the commode on either side that they prefer to transfer off and on. We also, of course, look at grab bars being around the toilet uh, for those transfers. And then we look to have a sink that does have um, sort of a, a caved down uh, arch, if you will, that either protects the piping uh, so that people can pull up it with their wheelchairs and not hit any piping, or certainly if there is piping, we do look for it to be wrapped or insulated in some way so that an individual would be rolling up into their wheelchair underneath the sink um, and, and be protected from any hot pipes. And of course, we look for outlets to be at the accessible height. We look for you know, any of those other type accessories uh, to be in the proper positions to make it most accessible to people with disabilities. You know, we've had a lot of, uh, matter of fact, virtually every bathroom that I go into has either a curb or a tub. And there's no way that a person in a chair can access that or uh, you're getting older and you can't bend up, that, uh, bend the knees like you used to. So that roll-in shower, the curbless shower is essential for these people. Um, are you finding that to, with a lot of your clients? We are. Um, that is typically one of the largest areas within the bathroom that requires a little bit more extensive cost and renovations when needed. Um, but it is certainly one of the items that allows individuals to be able to then remain in their home because they're able to shower uh, safely. And so, yes, those accessible barrier-free showers are a tremendous asset for uh, an individual who is looking to have an accessible restroom. Okay, we won't go on with this a whole bunch longer, but I do want you to talk a little bit about, about that ramp program for that you, that you mentioned. That's a, that's a really cool thing. 
Yeah, so we have a, a lot of needs in our community and sometimes our funding, as with the SHIP program, it's specific to a particular county. So uh, our ramping up life is where we just generally uh, look to raise funds and then we use those in any of the five counties that we serve to help pu pu put in some ramps. Uh, we've done this for individuals who are you know, looking to increase their, their home and their access to it, whether it be a trailer, whether it be a house, uh, whatever the needs may be, we're able to get those ramps installed and um, make it a lot more accessible for individuals with disabilities to come to them from their home. Critical, absolutely critical. I've seen this time and time again, these people can't even access their home. It, it, oh, without... We get calls that people are not able to go to their doctor's appointment because they can't get out That's of right. their home. That's so, right. So this is really where that need is, is met, where we go, okay, you know, we really need to make sure this individual is getting the medical care that they're needing. Um, and it starts with that access. Well, um, you guys are doing a, a marvelous job. I love working with you. Um, all the people that are with you have have that uh, heart to help. And I'll tell you what, uh, the, the motto, finish your life with a flourish, has, has been instilled into me. You know, it's uh, for some reason, I'm not getting any younger and I don't quite understand that, but it is what it is. Okay. So what's, what's great is working with you guys in uh, and helping these individuals have a better life. So look at Renee, I really appreciate you bringing your expertise to all of us. And for those of you who thought that this was great value to you, I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel uh, and ring the bell to receive our new videos, videos as they get posted. So Renee, thanks again. Uh, we will be talking very soon. Thank you, Mike.